going to sumo paint so now we're in sumo paint I had a go previously and you can see here is the watermark of UE draw this was because <clears throat> I didn't bother changing the actual canvas size in UE draw initially please whatever you do make sure that you use a high quality image okay so create a new image it's much much bigger go here and fit on screen it's quite large okay I'm gonna get a new image whoops sorry no I'm not I'm going to import to layer from my computer this one the will portrait you draw not this little one this nice size one I'm going to open that <clears throat> okay you can see once it comes into this program it still gets that pixelated look about it I'm not really sure why but uh, anyway it looks a lot better than what the previous one did so we're, we're gonna work with that okay here is the hat and um, if you have a look at my image my original image you can see that the hat in my image is very boring uh, it's white and it's not that great so I would prefer to have something that was a bit more interesting maybe go for a green hat or something like that so I'll look in my colors or maybe I'll go over here I'll select something that's a bit more interesting mm, don't really like that maybe a green hat all right that's cool now I'm gonna go a light green because that's where the sun is I'm imagining the sun is going to be hitting here and I'm going to be using uh, this actually I don't need to do that with the paintbrush I'll deselect sorry with the um, with the tin I could just do it like this which is going to save me a lot of time initially I only really need to worry about selecting when I'm using the brush okay so we've got our green underneath will be a lot darker Got my dog barking in the background. Actually, not my dog, my mother's dog. Okay, crazy dog. And then I'm going to go another green here. Yeah, I don't really like that colour. I think it'll, maybe a darker green. No, maybe a bit more darker. No. Yeah, that's not too bad all right now here in the hair Will's got quite dark hair so go in here or we can go up here but it's not really a brown so we'll go a nice brown here dark brown for Will's hair okay oh it's not what we want is it I'm going to use this one. It's better. Good. And a bit of hair coming out through there. Looks a bit odd the way I've got the hat. I probably did that wrong when I initially drew it. I can fix it up if I want to do that. Eyebrows. Beard. All right that looks pretty good okay now let's have a look at his skin color he's got a nice sort of um, golden color maybe a touch more yellow in there touch more red okay so the initial color is lovely golden brown Not quite what it looks like there, so we'll just go edit undo. Let's try that one. Mm. So you have to experiment a little bit until you get what you want. And that's quite a nice initial colour. Um, I will be adding some tone in there a little bit later, but for now that's good. Ah, now. 
Remember I told you that you have to be so particular when you do the initial drawing. I can see what's happened there and we'll just go make sure that that's plus. I'll go right in there and see what's happened. You can see these these pixels now, can't you? Okay, so let's get the brush. Make sure the opacity is 100%, which means that it's not see-through. And we're going to make this, I think five pixels might be a bit too much. Let's turn that into two. And let's see what we can do here. Whoops. Um, of course, it's not black, is it? So I need to make sure I've got black. Okay, that should fix the problem. Let's go back to this and we will go fit on screen. And uh, we'll pick this colour and we'll get our paint bucket. Ah, that is better. Hopefully we did a good job initially. Yes, we did. Good. And here, great. And here, good. Here it gets a little bit darker because there's a shadow coming from his jacket. So we'll use that colour but we'll go darker. So we'll just bring it down to a darker colour. Maybe not dark enough. Try that. That's better, I think. Okay, um, the next thing we want to be doing is maybe the lips and what we don't want to be doing is making him look like a girl by having it too pink or red so we'll just yes it is pink in his lips I'll just drag that across so you can see and let's see a bit more red All right, we'll give that a go and we'll see what it looks like. Is that okay? Look, I think it'll do for now. Um, you can sort of muck around with it a bit. If you're a girl, you're lucky because you can make a little bit more lipsticky. If you're a boy, you don't want to make it look too pink. Um, you'll make the boy looks, look like a girl, which is not what you want. Okay, so and here with the jacket, um, maybe like a... Mm, a red jacket do you think yep let's go red let's look here and see what reds we've got that's a real cherry red isn't it okay so we'll try this one let's see how that goes okay we did a much better job here obviously of making sure that that's all joined up that looks good that's done and that's done okay and uh, should we keep the singlet white I think white singlets look pretty good. Now, I might just put a background on that as well. So we might just go a blue sky. Blue there, blue there. Okay, you've got yourself a very dynamic looking cartoon. It looks very fake. The lines aren't coming out very well. We can fix it. And what you want to do is you want to start adding some shadow. And this is when this comes in handy, which is your magic wand. If you just put your your hand over there you can see that you can actually see what each one of these does okay so that's the magic wand we have now selected the face the good thing about that is I'm going to select this color and remember how we can make it a bit darker but just by dragging it down I want to give it some shadow underneath his hat okay let's have a look it's quite dark so I want to use the brush this time and I want to make it um, maybe 15. We'll see what 15 looks. Mm, not good enough. Let's make it say 40, 50. It's quite large. We want to, it's an airbrush. Okay, you can see that you get a whole lot of different things. A whole lot of options there. Okay, so we'll use that airbrush. I quite like that. I'm going to airbrush it. And we want to have a clean sweep across here where the face is. So let's go. Now you're going to say that's a bit sloppy. It's going over on the hat and you'd be right, it is. 
I'm just looking at my picture just to the left of me. I'm using that as a source, okay? So I'm just seeing what's happening here. And I know the shadow goes right to his brow. Now you can see why I use that magic wand, right? Okay, and it, it does come down here as well, all the way to that brow. So we just make that shadow go across. Just clean that up a little bit. Okay, pretty good. Now, select, deselect. Okay, so we might select that again though, or select a portion. Let's do here. So just underneath there. And let's get our brush. It was quite large before. We don't want it as big this time. So let's make it say 15. Maybe a bit too small. Let's make it 20. Okay, that's good. And instead of the opacity being 100%, we can actually move that down. Or we can move that up and down, depending on which way you want to go. You'll see what I mean. Once again, I'm going to use that technique. I'm not too worried because of the line. That looks good. I'm going to just under here okay and here you can see we're starting to get a real 3D look don't worry about that blue that's just your selection line all right I know that he's got a bit of shadow under here as well And there's some shadow coming here. It's pretty good. Okay. This time I'm going to select the ear. Get my brush. I'm going to make this um, say 15. I'm going to make the opacity 100% again. And put a line across here. Put a shadow down here. And I'm going to put a bit of the shadow along here. Down there. Okay, not too bad. I don't want to go too crazy. Okay, <clears throat> this time I select here. And I will do a bit of a shadow here. Okay. Another thing I noticed is that um, just under the lips there needs to be a bit of a shadow. Get this. I'm going to make it larger again, make it about 25, maybe 30, 35, yep, oh maybe that's too big, let's, let's try 25, okay that's good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a nice line underneath here, there is a shadow coming off his lips, going across there and up. All right, good. I'm going to get the opacity down just a tad. 38. I've noticed that there's a bit of a... Like so. All good. Okay. Get my magic wand. My brush. Make sure it's 100%. Or well, maybe not for this bit. And I'm just going to... Down here. Across there. There's a bit of a shadow going along here. 
that wasn't too good I'm going to edit undo because I'm realizing that yes I do need to have that larger I'm going to make that 35 try that again so from the eyebrow down across and then to here that looks all right also there's a shadow under here coming from here down there so I think I might select this color this lighter color and I might make my brush 100 percent I'll just go ahead and just make it that color but come across well dear idea okay here I want it to be that color okay that's better come across down and up not too bad and down here now the reason why I made it 100% is because I didn't want it to look um, you know washed out and stuff like that I might make my brush a little bit smaller now and make it um, 20 and getting a little bit closer there nice okay same thing go across here make my brush 35 once again I'm looking at this area here actually I might make that 50 even more maybe 60 that's better coming across down there all the way across down there all right and I think it needs to go across here a bit too okay let's select deselect you can see now that we're getting a nice 3d effect he's starting to look a little bit more realistic but still has that cartoon look you just keep on working and working and working with those tones um, there's light hitting for example so I'll come in here I'll get my brush actually I'll come in here I want to go lighter much lighter so I want to get some um, light hitting his nose you see the colors change there as well instead of 60 let's make it 20 how does that work okay go back to that brush may need to go even smaller and I think the opacity and the flow will go down just a little bit what I want is the light to hit so a bit weird doesn't it okay let's make the opacity 100% let's make it I think um, I think I want it to be a little bit more like this okay that brush that looks a little bit better doesn't it So the light is actually hitting that part of his nose. So most of it's there. That's why I was mucking around with that flow there. You just gotta be really careful when you start adding stuff because it can look really bad. Okay, um might make that quite 
a lot bigger. Not that big. Maybe not that big. You. If I can get the opacity down for this one, I'll just do a quick with some lights hitting here. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe get that opacity down a little bit more. Yeah, undo get that opacity down. Let's try that again. good and same here there's a little bit of light that's just hitting across here and a touch of light just coming across here same as on his chin and around here so I'm just going to select oh of course I need to select to make it work don't I so across his chin select this part here bit of light there Select. Let's have a bit of a look. Not too bad. They're starting to build. I can see that there is an issue with the lips, and I can see there's a bit of an issue here with the nose. Well, there should be some just some light scattered a bit more subtly. Okay. So those tones are starting to work a little bit better now. Let's get some tone under the chin. And let's put, go to there, use this, and we need this colour, but we need it much darker. Get that brush. Opacity 100%. Diameter bigger than that. I want that 60 maybe. Have a look. 60. More. 80. Okay. make that a little bit smaller now Too bad. Come in here, Ted. And cross here. Mm. 
feel like he's got, should have some shadow there under his eye. It looks a bit weird. So here. And here. Come in here a bit. It's good. We just need to clean that up a bit. Okay. Here he's got some shadow under his eye there, just here, 100%, colour will be this colour, make that smaller I think, Select here. All right, it's starting to look a little bit more like Will, isn't it? Do a bit on the hat, maybe. So let's select the hat. Let's get this tool. That green has got to be darker. Bit of shadow. This um, will make that a lot bigger. I'll just move that up like so, just so I can see the top of it. And I need that to be a little bit lighter and it's smaller. It's good. Now let's have a look at this. Just under there, there's a shadow. So I need a brush that is smaller. I need the colour to be this but darker. Go to my brush again. Oops, looks like I okay, go back. Just some darker. Okay, get my brush. How big is that? That's good. So I want it to come across here. Okay. Down there like so. And this is shadow here. That's shadow there. Then we'll make that bigger. Make it 25. Straight down there. That line there is a shadow. And there's a slight shadow here, but it's a bit lighter. So we'll go here, just across from there to there. 
And another one. Let's see. Then we have some shadow coming across here. And plenty of shadow just here, so I'll go 100% there. So just where the um, pocket is. Make this bigger. Mm, might be a bit too big. That's where this pocket is. And then make this smaller. Just behind that pocket there, it gets quite dark. So make it even smaller, I think. A bit smaller than that. Right in just behind here. Down here. Should I goes up and around? Should I comes across? Another shadow here. And we have a shadow here. And a shadow here. Now I've gone over the line a little bit, as I have done there. If you come up here, you can see it. Okay, make sure we're on the plus, yes. So if we come right in here, you can see I've gone over the line, but that's easily fixed. I just select this colour. I get my brush. Make sure the flow is 100%. And I just come in and I just nip in here and clean up. Same as here. I'll just clean that up. That's fine. Okay, if we go select, deselect, you can see how strong that. Okay, let's go to fit on screen. Okay, so I'll just keep on working on this and um, I'll show you the end result. Uh, I'll just join it onto the video, so it'll take a little bit more work. You can see that I have to keep on working it up, working it up. As I said, it's a bit of a shame about the pixelized line here, but we might be able to fix that up a little bit later. We might be able to select that and really strengthen it a bit. However, you can see that uh, you can get quite a good result from this UE paint. You just keep on working on it. You use the tools that are available and um, yeah, not too bad.